Dallas police are cracking down on online sex trafficking. The investigation began with a police report from a neighbor who was concerned that a nearby short-term rental was being used for prostitution. Well, that investigation has resulted now in nearly two dozen arrests. Fox 4's Lori Brown live in Dallas tonight with that story. Lori? Steve, the 23 arrests come after Dallas police first got a tip from a Northwest Dallas resident. He was concerned about suspicious activity happening at his home near the LBJ Freeway and Marsh Lane. That led police to start investigating a short-term rental operating in the city back in July. From there, the investigation led police to another short-term rental in Plano. In September, Sky 4 captured images of furniture being moved out of the rental on Las Palamas Lane after police said it was being used as a brothel. A neighbor captured a photo of the police activity during the raid. Police arrested two women at the time, one for aggravated promotion of prostitution, but charges were later dropped against the women. Today, nearly four months later, Dallas police announced the arrest of 23 people. They all, they all are men and range in age from 27 years old to 70 years old. They are all charged with solicitation of prostitution, a state jail felony. Dallas Police Sergeant Warren Mitchell said that the arrests show that it may take time, but Dallas police take tips from residents seriously. If you see uh, high traffic going in and out or anything that does not look right, whether it be, in this case, trafficking, uh, sex trafficking, or whether illegal drugs, report that information. You might not see immediate results because it takes time, to, but it starts with uh, a neighbor who sees something and then say something. Police also seized three firearms and $6,000 in cash. We asked if any of the women involved in the operation were victims of sex trafficking. Sergeant Mitchell told us that is still part of the investigation. None of the arrests appeared to be for any ringleaders of the sex trafficking. Mitchell said more arrests in the case are still possible. The 23 people arrested are all facing state jail felonies for solicitation of prostitution. That carries a sentence of six months to two years in a state jail facility.